we're going to entertainment. What's topping off our entertainment segment this week, Ms. Reese? Okay, so gender neutral. Mm. I saw this today on 11 o'clock news, okay. ABC, and uh, Kate Hudson, right? She has two boys and a new baby girl. Congratulations, Kate. And she spoke about raising her baby girl gender neutral. Okay. Now, this is a new parenting concept. Yeah. And it's basically, and what Kate said is, we still don't know what she's going to identify as. But you're saying she, so... So, the concept of this parenting is you use, like, pronouns. Mm, early. Yeah. Early. Like, even in a email signature. Baby I, email signature. I guess. Pronouns. She, um, them, they, thou, thither. I don't know how I feel about this. I think you're setting it up yeah, for these you're almost kids forcing it. To be... <laughs> Yeah. It's like now, I, I did talk to this one lady at the gym one day, right? It was an mm -hmm. older lady, and she was saying her great-grandbaby um, just got her cycle, right? Mm -hmm. And then so she was talking about all the stuff that women have to go through. Okay. And this little girl is 11. And she said, well, what if I don't want to be a girl no more? Mm -hmm. can I just switch to be a boy? Yeah, take this period back. That right there, like, I feel like Confusion. this is allowing <laughs> <Confusion>. those <laughs> thoughts to happen. Which, the girl didn't want to, she said, no, I don't want to be a boy, but I'm just saying. I don't want to have to go through all the shit mm. the women got to go through. Why is my system being flushed? Yeah, can yeah. I just switch? So, I think this gender neutral thing, hmm. Yeah. And here's why, man. It's, I thought gender neutral was like, I'm going to dress my kid in yellows and greens. That too. You know what I'm saying? But... You know, or, or... No tutus, no, like, yeah, suits, but just, just it could be just, whatever, boy or girl. Kanye clothes, right? So this is these... Gender, <laughs> maybe that's the whole kick. Yeah. Is maybe he going after that, you know, this, this gender be. neutral space. But I don't like it, man. I don't, I don't like it. I like, I like kids being able to self-explore, self-identify, and stuff like that. But I don't like when it's like, uh, you know, it's kind of like, well, we're going to box you in and say, here are your options versus... He, here are your options, and I'm not going to influence them. Yeah. If they naturally gravitate towards something, cool. cool. If they nav naturally repel from something, cool. But it just seems like gender neutral is not as neutral as the term suggests. Mm -mm. But I, I wouldn't be with that shit. If, if God created you as a boy, then a you're supposed boy. to be raised to be a man. If you were born as a girl, you're supposed to be raised to be a girl. girl. And then God made hermaphrodites as both. And you kind of get to pick and choose your own adventure. But if you're not a hermaphrodite, it's kind of like, what are you, what are you <laughs> forcing transgender on yeah, yourself for? It's just, it's just it's very confusing. It and it's one of those things like not saying anything about the individuals that choose as their lifestyle. But I heard a quote from Dave Chappelle that was just talking about how the, you know, it's not the fact that we're good or bad people. It's just like maybe some of the environments we grow up in are not the healthiest. Yeah. And you're a product of your environment. So if people are forcing yeah. neutrality on you, like force race, racial neutrality on motherfuckers. Yeah. Like, how do we just Let get that, over? Yeah, yeah. Like, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? Like, let's force know. equality on our kids. Mm. Let's force fairness on our kids, kindness on our kids. Y'all so worried about boy, girl. That's a good one. Like, if you don't force something, force something that matters, yeah. motherfucker. But at the end of the day, what do I know? Right. Um, also, <laughs> entertainment, what's going on with Future in his feelings? So, okay. I do believe I've heard this line in Jay-Z's song in the mm -hmm. album 444, right, where mm -hmm. he referenced um, my kid wouldn't be playing football with another man Not or something future, like that. Not in the future, yeah, playing future with someone. Imagine another nigga playing football with your son, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. In the future, okay. yeah. <laughs> Shout out future. When did this album come out? 444 is at least a year and a half old, I want to say, Z. It took you a year and a half to figure out how to respond? Like <laughs> That nigga sitting back like, wait, wait, <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> What you mean, last year? What did we say? He said a lot since then. So, apparently, he did have a chance to speak to Jay. Okay. Right, and he said, and that part of me just can't really believe this. Part of me has to believe that Jay was like, Bro, you know what? Bro, I'm Jay. You're Live F. your life. You're Okay. F. You know, right. like, <laughs> so he said. Mean? What did you tell this man? Future said he was like, um, you know, yeah, we know we both come from the streets, from a different cold, blah, 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 and... You know, like, I appreciate, appreciate that shit. Mm. Jay was like, he said, Jay said, oh, yeah, man, my bad. You know, I'm sorry. I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't mean it that way or whatever. And then Future was like, well, no, it's out there now. It's on the album. I just don't see that conversation really going that way. Yeah, like what? I really don't see Jay giving two fucks about yeah, an album he put out a year ago, man. Right. I'm, and I'm sure, like, 
Jay considered your feelings yeah. or <laughs> lack thereof before <laughs> putting that line in there and was like, eh, all things considered, go ahead. But it's true. Yeah, and it's imagine true. niggas playing football with your son. This nigga plays football with your son and takes nude pictures with your son. And, and well, I don't know if he takes. They were Oh, that's nude. right, that's right. They Those were nude pictures. when I she forgot. was a good child. So, you know what I'm saying? They but doing their thing. They doing he's their also family. teaching your son. He's also probably doing other raising positive things. Raising your child. Things. Uh, he's raising your child. And it's like, I, I felt bad for Future at first, and then I was kind of swayed when I was like, <laughs> so he has multiple kids, multiple baby moms, and it doesn't seem like this son is not saying i don't know how to say it because you know i'm a father too but it doesn't seem like even if russell wasn't in the picture his son would be super super high priority so it's just kind of like ah. why yeah i, I think it's don't blame it on that situation nigga like what type of father are you in general thank you and, and i think it's thing. more of sierra upgraded on that ass mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying that maybe his other that's baby his mamas thing. are that's not his thing because that, that his, nfl it, money ain't like that rap money well and to to his other baby mamas he mm -hmm. probably still is the thing yeah, yeah, because it ain't been no upgrade. And to Sierra, it's like you're nothing. Yeah, no thing. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> the future is now the past. Um, also in entertainment, Wakanda forever? Maybe. <laughs> what do we mean? What do we so mean? So Black Panther did get seven nominations for hey, the Black. Oscars. Hey, Black Panther. Um, so that's, that's a good thing because we were just talking last week how they didn't get nominated at the Golden Globes, yeah. and I was hoping that maybe they would get nominated in some categories, and they did. So they got seven. And we'll see how many they take home. What do you think? If you had to guess, out of these seven noms, I would be glad if they got one. Oh, I was gonna go with three. Let's meet in the middle of two. Maybe two. they'll get two. Maybe two. Maybe they'll get two. We said like special I, effects I, and maybe yeah, costumes. So they're like, not gonna really give them. They got nominated for best picture. Yeah, but what but are they up against? Some La La Green Land book. shit, Green Book, uh, a Green Star Book is good. Born. A star. Lady Gaga and Buddy Ass from A Team, you're um, not gonna win that fight. Bohemian Rhapsody, which I come on, man, that's that. about Queen. Yeah, come on, man, like the agenda. Like if Bohemian wins, or again, just A Star Is Born, which is country music. Ah, come on, man, like fuck, know. fuck that Wakanda shit. <laughs> according to the 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 powers that be that yeah, are voting on no, it, that's all so, I'm saying. But no I mean, disrespect. They got nominated. That's that's. A a is progress. It's progress, but man, you know we win for. Hookers, whores, thugs, drug dealers. Well, where was that if, in the movie? Um, we didn't have that. Don't uh, expect to win. Marshala Ali wins. You know that for Green Book, that would be a good, good role to win for. Maybe they should have put him in Black Panther. Black Panther somewhere <laughs> too, and we would have felt like we got both. All right. Well, good luck, and we still yeah. who, who's hosting this bitch? Do we? Nobody. So they don't have a host. Whoa! Call us. Fuck. We will host remotely from here. For real, they don't have a host. And the funny thing is, Steve Harvey was like, it's not, he was like, that's what they get. That's what they pompous ass get. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to follow up after the whole that Kevin Hart mess. situation. Yeah, that's a mess. And he was like, realistically, nobody needs to host the Oscars. He said, it's not like your career takes off after right, hosting right, it. Right. It's already so, on, damn near, for you to host it. Yeah. Yeah, like, they're not just elevating people's careers. No. It's like, nigga, you made it, and now we're inviting you, you yeah, to help to us be cool. Yeah. All right. Um, also in entertainment, uh, Rock Rants. What's going on with Rock Girl? Yeah, so y'all check her show out. It's on BET. Mm -hmm. um, Ra Raquel from TMZ. But hey, she did she ever fix her appearance? I know you had some concerns. I do, I do. But is she back? Is she? Some days it's good. Some, some days, days it's I'm like, not. Oh, okay. Rock, right. no! You just gotta roll them dice with her. <laughs> <laughs> but I just like. I think I really do like her though. Yeah, yeah. She is pretty Part cool. Goes and a long way. She asks some crazy ass questions. Um, so she interviewed Kevin Gates. Now, I got two phones. Now I haven't really seen or heard anything from him since that whole debacle when he was talking about getting pulled over by the police mm -hmm. and he was like, you know, like he wasn't in agreement with the with the struggle. Right, basically. Right. He was going against it. So to see this interview. And he practices his um, Muslim faith now, mm -hmm. just completely different. He's in blessings. His Peace perspective blessings. on life, on fatherhood, on his career, it was like listening to an adult. It was really, it was yeah. really nice. Um, so you remember when we used to listen to him on them interviews and you'd be like, so how's your day going? However God intended my day to go is how my day is going. So there's no questions, there's no doubt that my day is going exactly as God intended. 
He said that. Like, he used to answer questions like that. Is he still on no, that kick? No, he, so no. He, I didn't, has I he reeled that. it in? Yeah, he, he Yeah, but Buddy calmer. Ass used to be extreme and, like, off-putting to people that was interviewing him. Like, bro, just answer the fucking question. question. How's your date? <laughs> Fuck, man. So, no, he's much better, much more relaxed. Um, he said he grew up with a Muslim dad and a Catholic mom. Mm, that can um, be confusing for yeah, any so, child. So, it's kind of makes sense his whole like journey back to his faith yeah. you know he probably wants to break out of that shit for a while hell yeah, hell yeah as far as far away from here um but he what he doesn't do is he don't answer any questions about politics he doesn't really he's he said i'm a black man i don't have no which i, didn't really I don't have a that. dog in the fight yeah so <laughs> my vote doesn't count but okay as long as you're gonna be quiet yeah as long as you ain't okay. gonna add no ignorance to the <laughs> right. conversation but fun fact raquel said she had broke the story first that he used to date, bang, his cousin. He didn't know it, though. So he didn't Still. know it. So one day he, he she invited. She did? No, they didn't know. If your cousin Listen. was a famous rapper, you would know. Listen, he invited, How he invited the girl to his granny's house to meet his granny. And his granny said, I've met her hey, already. Baby, that's, that's your cousin. <laughs> This is like, where is he from? This is before he got on and what? Yeah, this is a this was a long time. Oh, uh, okay. I'm like, man, if Kevin Gates was your cousin and he's famous, uh -huh. you would kind of know. This is a long time ago. But That's isn't still that like, hella ah. thing, Z. And I got some <laughs> badass cousins, but it's never like a thought of ooh, ooh. It's just like, damn, man. You got any friends? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, pretty girls hang together, right? <laughs> Put me on, cuz. But oh, that would be the no, most no. disgusting uh, shit, dog. At least he didn't know going in, because that's further disgusting. Yeah, that's still no, building shit. Know. All right, uh, wrapping up entertainment this week. We got a new show alert, or a couple of them. What we got? So, Boomerang. I saw um, a preview for that on BET. They are re... I'm not going to say redoing, because you can't redo. They're turning a movie into a series? Yeah. Like the Boomerang? Eddie Murphy's Boomerang? Yes. Goddamn. And, uh... But... Is it like with Soul Food, how everybody like, is going to play certain characters from the movie and you kind of see who gets casted and that's the fun so part? So you didn't, you didn't, um, they didn't go really into details. What you did see was, it was like, it was showing different types of black people. Mm -hmm. And that was it. And then it was like boomerang. I was like, wait. So, is that what the old Boomerang was about? What was Different it? The types concept, of black people? <laughs> I thought the concept of Boomerang was what goes around comes around. He was like a, a gigolo-ass <laughs> so lazy man, and then uh, Robin giving the shit his ass. But, I mean, that's what I thought, and I think that's right. what it is. But he ended but up with Holly. when mm. you think about it, in the original, there were a lot of different type of black characters we had never seen before. Oh, yeah. And yeah. so I think... And you know, people had a problem with that. Uh, well, people, Back then, white people had a problem with it. Like, man, who's running this uh, marketing Market firm? firm? Like, who's in charge? Okay. It can't be all black people. So that's kind of where it's coming yeah. from. It's, it's revamped, and then they're still showcasing that. And I think that's more what the show is about. That's what's up. That's so, what's up. And it, it just kind of is, is associated with that type mm -hmm. of upper echelon, middle, upper class, da da da. Yeah. I get it. I fuck with it. Um, the next show is American Soul, the story of Don Cornelius yeah. and Soul Train. Now, that's Sean from Power. 50 Son from Power is playing Don Cornelius. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's, a, that's interesting because it's like he didn't really have a major role. He only was on for a season or two. Mm. And now he has this big ass potential okay. situation. Like, I, I, I love to see the, the nigga that played Ralph Tresvan glow up after yeah. being in there. Bobby Brown. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, what's his name? was already on from uh, Empire, but he played Michael Bivens in the yeah. new edition piece. So now Sean getting a chance to play Don Cornelius, you know, it'd be a lot of opportunities for crossover. So next time yeah. they do a show about somebody that was on, you know, uh, Soul Train, yeah. he'll get a reoccurring yeah. role. So I like that shit. That's good. Yeah. And last but not least, this is a movie you told me about, and I just saw it. Mm hmm Monster and Men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What so, you think, G? One shout out to I wish I knew his name, Denzel Jr. Oh Denzel yeah, son. John, John, John. Ricky from Ballers. That's that's John, that's John. my boo. Ricky yeah. from Ballers. He, he got like a double name, like John Henry. But you know, Washington. He John like, David, David John. I don't know. John David Washington. <laughs> he looked like his dad in this movie. Yeah. I saw he did his thing, Gene. Yeah. Okay, so things. what I didn't like about the movie, I didn't like how it ended. Yeah. It just kind of left you like, huh. Hanging. So if you haven't seen the movie, go check it out. But it's basically about um, a young man. John David. Records, yeah. That's his name, John, John David. John David Washington. 
Well, good job. Yeah. Um, he, a young man records the police shooting of his friend and how that that one thing affects him and it affects um, another kid and just how cops be doing us in our own neighborhood. Yeah, I was listening to D.L. Hewley. He gave a story about how what was happening to him in L.A. at eight years old and now he's 52 years old. He saw the same shit happening in 2018, 2019. With that little boy. In Chicago, dude peeing on himself, getting accosted by the police and stuff like that. And it's like nothing has changed no. in or, or damn near eight, uh, 50 years. And uh, it's just interesting because it's like almost acceptable in society to treat black people, especially black men, sometimes I'm just going to say black, black people because they treat our women terribly as black well. Shit. And not saying that we treat them any better, but just saying, like, you know, it's just fucked up out here. But um, I, I think the movie did a good job of just showing kind of that crash. You remember that movie Crash? Yeah, I love and the Crash. Different storylines and how they intertwine and they touch at some point and then they go back. I love when they do that creatively from a cinematic standpoint, from a writing standpoint, from a directing standpoint. Like I really felt bad. There was a character in the in the movie, Monster Men, the baseball player. Oh. You see how these cops like oh. harass these young boys at night when they come in from school practices or whatever that don't have nothing on them, that ain't even about their life. And how that one interaction can just really haunt yeah. them and change their perspective, their yeah. attitude, and everything. And it took a lot for him to be like, it was almost like he was, because his dad didn't understand, right? Because yeah. I think after a certain age with black people, we just we get so up. tired. We and give it's up like, on the struggle, man. Nothing has changed. We give up on so the struggle. So now we just want our kids to get through and get yeah. out. Um, and so I felt like in his mind, he was struggling with that because he played baseball. Yeah. The one of the whitest Well, sports. very well, yeah. too. He was a stud. But in the end, you saw him walk out with that shirt and on. had to take a stand, Z. And it was, like, so powerful. Yeah. But he's so good. Y'all yeah. gonna take this. Yeah. What we, what, what's it gonna be? Yeah. And it's interesting, though, because um, I was just listening to the fact that Barry Bonds once again got, um, he didn't get enough votes to get into a Hall of Fame. I don't know if you remember this, but there was a year where Mark McGuire from the St. Louis Cardinals and uh, uh, Sammy Sosa from the Chicago Cubs him. was out here slugging. Yeah. And all of them was using uh, performance enhancement drugs, got popped off, whatever, whatever. And it's pretty much said that without the performance enhancement drugs, they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have been shit. So them two not getting into the Hall of Fame is kind of like, eh, you know, but it was fun while it lasted and y'all kind of saved baseball for that year. Barry Bonds, you know, was the best player of his era and was just trying to keep up with these niggas that was cheating damn near, got with the wave, and now he's being penalized as if he wasn't already cold before that shit. And I just feel like there's some small undertone of, nigga. You can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Because he needs 75% vote to get in. He has like 51. And it's like, what y'all going to do? He's been passed over, I think, four or five times already. And it's like, y'all going to keep, what, inching towards that 75 just to fuck with this nigga? Knowing. Right before he died, he, he deserves it. it. Right. Like, it'll be some memorial, <laughs> asterisk, honorary Hall of Fame that's member. That's how they do it. But that's why we got to stop seeking to get their Approval. awards and approvals and just have our own. Barry Bonds, yeah. you the motherfucking man. I heard you was an asshole ass nigga, but you was an exciting <laughs> bastard. Like, I don't want you to be, I don't need you to be a good guy. I need you to be an athlete. Yeah. I don't need Michael Jordan to be kind. But when you retire you and you're not playing no more, you, you really don't have a right to be an asshole because these kids don't even know your ass, yeah. technically. Yeah. So. Barry who, right? Right. So it is what it is. But I think that about wraps us up for this week's segment of entertainment on This Down the Third. Literally. Literally.